say like gymnastics is kind of more than just a sport, it's like an identity, you know, and uh, I associate pretty much everything in my life with gymnastics when it comes to eating, sleeping, you know, like I just breathe gymnastics all the time and that's I think why it means so much to me. I would really like people to know that our team is better than what people make us out for. We're definitely the underdogs in most situations, but we work so hard and we're so talented and we always come out really well. So just having outsiders know what we're capable of. Um, I started gymnastics when I was three. When I was 10? I started gymnastics when I was in third grade. We started gymnastics when we were like eight. Okay, eight or nine. I'm pretty sure I just used to like flip off of our couches at home. I have a lot of energy and I, I've always been little. Uh, because my parents said I had way too much energy and I was doing handstands on the couches and I was learning how to do flips by myself and they were like, ah, I just put you in gymnastics. I was like, all right. And I went to practice and I just watched my sister doing gymnastics one day and I was like, mom, this is what I need to do. We would always do like flips in our front yard and like in the house, we do cartwheels and like swing on like, we had a dog crate in the couch we'd and we'd swing, swing on them. them. We train about 20 hours a week and we do routines on every single event and we really focus in on the details now during this part of season. So really focusing on like keeping our legs together, pointed toes, straight legs all the little details to make the big difference in the end. We come in, we'll either have morning conditioning or condition after practice, and then a four hour, three or four hour practice of just getting to every event, doing our routines, making, perfecting little details here and there, and then we travel on the weekends, compete one day. But for competitions, we have to be there three hours early just for like treatment, getting ready, warming up, all that sort of thing. So competition days can get long, practice days are long. <laughs> I love that we have a small gym and that we're all so close. There's 21 guys up there in that little room and you can see and hear everything that everybody does. So if you're feeling down, all it takes is one glance at a teammate who's over there killing it and it makes you uh, definitely want to step up and be able to perform. I think in our sport, um, having support from your teammates and coaches is the number one most important thing. Um, you know, as individual as people think our sport may be, it really is not at all. Definitely when I came to college, I started feeling nerves on events that I hadn't experienced before just because you got 20 guys that care about you hitting that routine as much as you do, you know, that's something new I hadn't experienced. Um, my team definitely motivates me the most during practice because I know that no matter what happens, they'll always have my back, whether it's to pick me up on a bad day or just to push me to be the best I physically can. I love, I've always loved competing, so I think, um, I don't know, the whole, I mean, it's only two hours long and it feels like 15 minutes, so, you know, just trying to enjoy every minute of the two hours, because um, it goes by quick, but all of it is just really exciting. I don't really think about my routines. I think about having fun and dancing and cheering a lot. We're very silly and goofy together all the time, but we also get down to business when we need to hold each other accountable and just being able to like sit there and genuinely be happy for one another is what our team is all about. I think that my relationship with my teammates goes, uh, it extends way beyond the gymnastics setting. Uh, you know, we live together for several years, we eat dinner together, we study together, uh, we have tutoring sessions. Um, most of us are in several classes with each other, so I think that uh, what's really special about my relationship with my teammates is that it extends so far beyond the athletic context and uh, definitely brings us really close together. You know, we're in Lincoln, Nebraska. It's like the middle of the country, but there's only one of us that's from Lincoln. Um, we're all from all over the place and um, north, south, east, west. So I think it's pretty cool that we're from, you know, different areas, but we all have one thing in common and that is able to bring us together and have, you know, that one thing to bond over. So. Growing up in the gym, like you kind of just have to be motivated, like you have to be self-motivated. Um, there's a lot of kids running around and so you kind of have to take charge of your own, you know, goals and your own future. And so I think that 
that's why it's been important to me. It's just taught me a lot more than to be a good athlete. I, I honestly do think that we have the hardest sport and that if people one day did what we did, they'd understand that. Surprisingly, a lot of our um, like conditioning comes in the gym. It's a lot of body weight stuff, so we don't lift weights necessarily that much, but um, we have very applicable strength because just lifting dumbbells isn't going to get us an iron cross on rings, you know, so you have to be training specific muscles. Um, but a lot of it also is consistency, so over and over the same skill, the same routine, trying to perfect it and make sure that you're going to hit it in the meet. Um, well, being a gymnast, so you're rated on a scale of like, so you want to get a perfect 10 and that means your routine was perfect, everything was perfect, whatever. However, no one's really perfect, so I think the best advice that my coaches have given me is that no one's perfect. As long as you go out there, do the, what you best can at that time and moment, that's all that matters because it's all you can do at that point and you can't look back and redo it. So you gotta move on and just keep pushing to do your best every turn. I wish people knew uh, the sense of unity that we have as a team. And I think that we're all uh, extremely committed to the sport, to the goals that we set for our own team. And uh, that's definitely in our minds pretty much every day for an entire year. Uh, and over the course of four years, it really brings us together. And we def definitely function as one unit.